It's the Midweek Roundup. Welcome to another Midweek Roundup. Quite a short one this week. Everyone's obviously been really excited about the Kings of War book release that they've downed paintbrushes and headed to the uh, web store. Um, but we have had uh, quite a few entries for Blackjack Legacy's slow grow for firefights. There's quite a lot of uh, wonderful firefight uh, images coming up. I'm joined this week by Cleric. Cleric's going to uh, run through some of his tournaments he's got coming up and some exciting news about the gaming club as well. So, so the first image, you know, Tony Howell, he's done his uh, artificers. I really like the, uh, the sort of dull tones of the, uh, the armour and the uh, cloth on this one. It's really nice. Uh, obviously, like our studio models are quite vibrant, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's quite nice to see a, a more dull down tone. All of Tony's stuff's always great. Yeah, I've, I've followed his painting for a long time. Okay, mm -hmm. it's nice to see him doing a Forge Father. Yeah. And Duncan Garcia has done a Peacekeeper Captain. Um, I think it's always really nice to see when uh, you see the phase claws having that sort of glow effect to them, isn't yeah. it? And really I nice really, basing. Yeah, I really like the basing. Yeah. And the slight dusting of the feet as well, so it all blends in nicely. Yeah, yeah, not notice that. That's really good, isn't contrast it? Contrasts yeah. the grey and the blue really well with the nice yeah. brown base. And Jonathan Fox has been busy with his Forge Fathers. Got this uh, great stern hammer here, and then I've got a, uh, a shot coming up of uh, some more of his troops as well. Um, I just really like the, uh, the crispness of the uh, the paint scheme with the, the oranges and the greens. Um, it's really nicely done, isn't it? Every time I see something from John, I feel embarrassed at my growing <laughs> pile of shame. I mean, the man churns out models yep. left, right and centre, and I'm like, oh, it's just embarrassing, really. It's a really nice colour scheme. Yep. I like the green and the orange, they go together well. Some great work on the barrel as well, the, uh, the burning. I don't think the panel there. gaps are as bad as he says they are. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, it's a really nice job, isn't it? And then, as I say, a few shots of uh, some of his troops as well and the uh, bigger stuff in the background, the Iron Ancestor and yeah. that. It's uh, really, really nice, isn't it? It is, yeah. Like the, the blue on the weapons just helps sort of make it pop as well, doesn't it? Yeah, nice contrast to the, the greeny colours. Yeah. A little bit of Kings of War, as I say, everyone's been excited about the new book this week, doesn't seem to be doing much painting. Um, this uh, Shadow Hulk from Justin is fantastic. I really like the blending from the, the blues into the purples on the arms. Yeah, it's, you sit uh, on the shoulder really, really well. Yeah. well it's, it's a nice contrast, it yeah. blends between the two. And some uh, some nice work on the on the head as well, with the, uh, the different tones. Last week we saw Kevin's uh, stunt bot. Uh, sorry, grunt bot. Um, and so uh, when I saw that he'd uh, posted a picture of some more of his army as well, I was like, we've got to get that on. Um, really nice job, really, really uh, top work on the commander. And I really like the more beasts as well. Really nice. Uh, it's nice to see that he's painted all the more beasts different colours as well, rather than maybe going for the same fur tone across all of them, which makes them a, a bit more unique. The basing helps bring all of those different colour schemes together. Absolutely, as well. yeah. So, although they're all Kind of a bit different, they blend really nicely because yeah. of the cohesive basin. More Kings of War, big horde of undead. Uh, Nicholas has uh, painted these. I really liked these because it's sim similar to the Moor Beast, he's gone for different cloth colours throughout the uh, the whole horde. It's quite easy when you're painting big hordes to just think I'm going to paint all of them the same um, uniform colours. But he's gone and chosen greens in some, reds in others, blues in others, and I think that, that was really nice. <laughs> They're all individually based as well. They are, yes. He's yeah. so used to Kings of War multi-basing. <laughs> yeah. You know, I rarely see any individually yeah, based units uh, anymore. He, he did say, I saw on, on the comment on this on Instagram, that it's taken him over a year to paint this. So uh, I can believe it. <laughs> and that's, I've, I've got a very large undead army, and yeah. they are a massive time sink. Yeah. You know, they look lovely when they Well, well worth it, yeah. 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 So that's it for this week in terms of painting, but as I say, we've got Cleric here who's going to give us a little bit of info about some tournaments that are coming up and the gaming club. Yeah, cool. Um, I do the most exciting one first, and that's the gaming club. Um, I kind of, after chatting to my kids mostly, decided that a Sunday afternoon is great for gaming. Um, Mantic has a really cool gaming hall, and it's not getting used enough. So I decided the first Sunday of every month, we're going to open it up in the afternoon and just come in for some free open gaming. So I'll be here if you want to pop along. The hall is ready. Just email into support or message us on Facebook and say what game you want to play. 
and I'll get the scenery set up for you and you can come along and join us. It's, you know, free, it's a nice place to be and you come play. Excellent. And then, on top of those things, I, I regularly run tournaments every now and then. Um, I've got a couple coming up for Firefight. The first one would be October 15th here at Mantic. It's a one day. You need 1,250 points. If you want to pop along, you haven't painted your whole army, that's fine as well. I'm not going to restrict you on painting. And then at the end of January, I've got a two-day firefight tournament here as well. So I think that will be the first two-day firefight tournament. And that one, again, is 1250, but you kind of need it painted by that point. But, you know, the end of January is a long way away. I'm sure we can all get it done, especially if you've taken part in Andy's slow grow. Absolutely, yeah. It'll all be finished by that point. I say you should have a 1,000 done by November for exactly. that point. Exactly. Yeah. So, so number 250 over Christmas, no yeah. problem. That's, you, that, that's just a couple of flyers. done by then. <laughs> Perfect. Um, yeah, so hopefully you can all come along. Um, be good to play with more new people. Yeah, definitely. It's always uh, it's always great to see the gaming hall really busy and uh, people enjoying games and, and learning new games as well. Um, so yeah, like Craig says, just drop us a line, um, supportmanticgames.com or, or through our socials or something like that and let us know you want to come down. Yeah. And that'd be great. Even if just for a demo. Yeah, Happy absolutely, time. yeah. Right, that's it for this week, folks. Thank you very much for joining us and we'll see you again next week. Bye.